Hello and welcome to Console Cowboys. So if you haven't already, click the link in the description below, follow me on Twitter, click the subscribe, share this out to all of your friends and family who may be interested on social media, retweet it, etc. The YouTube algorithm loves this stuff, so let's give it what it wants and let's hop right into it. So today we are going to create a template which will help us over and over and over again to connect to the blockchain, as well as template out how to make connections to contracts that we wanna interact with. Now you're gonna notice that I have the documentation open for web3.py, which is what we're gonna to use to connect to the blockchain. We want an in-depth understanding of this library, which is why we have the documentation open. The old meme RTFM or read the fucking manual is reality when you're learning new technologies that don't have a lot of information out there. A lot of the stuff we wanna do is gonna be right inside of here. And if we don't do something in this course and you're thinking about, hey, how do I do that? Come back to this documentation and you might find what you need within here. So right in here, the first thing you're gonna notice is we need to pip install web three. So like I said, a prerequisite to this course is understanding Python and basic scripting, installing packages. So get that installed and then we can make our connection to the blockchain. Also, if you cruise down through here in the quick start getting started section, you're gonna see stuff like how to set up your provider, how to check if you're connected. Then over here on the side, you'll see stuff about contracts. So in here, different ways to interact with contracts. So if you don't see something that we're doing in this course, hop in here and check it out. But what we're gonna do now is we're going to start coding what we need to code. The first thing I'd like to say is type out all of this code as we're going through here, because the way that you're gonna learn is by actually doing things, typing out the code, executing the code, making changes, failing at it, and going through that process, and then you're gonna learn all the things you need to learn. Don't just copy paste code in here and run it. With that said, let's get rolling. So the first thing that we're gonna do is import our libraries of web three. So we're gonna say from web three, import web three, and that's gonna be lowercase followed by uppercase, lowercase web three, uppercase web three. Now that we have that library imported, we can make a connection to the blockchain. In order to do that, we need to do it through a node. We're gonna use Infura. Now, the reason that we're gonna use Infura is because Infura gives us a very simple node interface with a URL to communicate with the blockchain. If you need more performance or you're doing something custom, you can also install a geth node local, keep it up to date and synced up and utilize that. But for our needs, Infura will work perfectly. So what we're gonna do is go back into our browser and grab a URL. If you go to infura.io and then create an account and go to create new key, you will have your keys down here. I created a temp one for this video that I'll delete later. Now we can copy that here and I copied the main net. If you do the drop down, you'll also see the test nets in here like Grilly. We'll use that later when we're dealing with test nets in order to use fake ether instead of real ether. That way we're not spending our money. Now up here, we also have our HTTPS, which is what we're using now, but you can also grab a WebSockets URL if you need that. So let's grab that and paste it in here so that we have that URL to make our connection to the blockchain. So with that, let's actually make a connection. So we're gonna say web3, we're gonna create that variable here, and we'll say, we're gonna use our web3 library, and in here we'll say that we wanna use that library web3 dot HTTP provider, and the reason we're using that is because that's the one we grabbed from Infura. We would use a different one if we're using WebSockets. Now with that, we now have a connection to the blockchain utilizing this Web3 variable we just created. So now let's check if we're connected. So we'll say print, and we'll just do a F string in Python so we can put our text in with our variables and function calls, and we'll say connected. And we wanna know whether we're connected. In order to do that, we can call the web three dot is connected and put the little uh, parentheses there. And what this is gonna do is bring back a true or a false. So we'll say web three is connected. It'll say true or false. So we'll say connected equals true if our connection up here worked using our URL. So let's check that out by running that on the terminal here. We'll say new terminal, 
And if you are using Visual Studio Code, it'll open it right up in the directory. If you're not, then open up your terminal and hop into the directory where you created this file. And we'll say Python. And I'm using Python 3 for all of this, which you know should be known by now. Most people aren't using Python 2. And we'll say 01 underscore template.py because that's what I named it. And it says connected true. So now we have a connection to the blockchain. So let's denote that here so we know what we did. We'll say connect to blockchain. And then the, what's the next thing that we have to do? Well, we need to make a connection to our contract that we're gonna interact with. So connect to contract. Now, based on the previous course, which is a prerequisite to this course, we know that in order to communicate with a smart contract via code, we are going to need a address of where the smart contract lives. We're also gonna need the target ABI so that we understand how to communicate with the functions. So what we're gonna do is create two variables for that. We'll say target address, and then we'll put in the target address here. But if we just put it in here like this, we might get errors if it's formatted incorrectly. So instead of doing that, what we're gonna say is web3 dot to check some address and we'll paste it in here like that. So what that will do is if we grab a format of an address with different cases or something of that nature, it'll format to the correct way that web3.py wants it when we make that connection to the contract. That way we don't get any errors. So this is a good you know, utilities kind of library for web3 that helps us format things in the correct way. And all of these things, again, they're in the documentation. If you're trying to figure out, oh, why am I getting an error on this address? Start looking at that, Google the error, and then you're gonna find, hey, oh, I can use two checksum address and fix that error. So then we're gonna need our target and we'll grab our ABI. So with our target ABI, all we have to do is paste that in there like that, and then we can make a connection to the blockchain and connect to a smart contract. So in order to make that smart contract object that we can communicate with, we'll say our target is gonna be web3.eth.contract. And so that is how we actually create it. And we're gonna need our ABI and we're gonna need our target address. We'll say address equals target address. And then we'll say our ABI equals target ABI. Now with those two variables and our eth.contract, we will now be able to communicate with a contract using this target right here. So anything we want to time, we want to communicate with the smart contract after this point, it'll be target dot something. So this is all we're going to do in this video. We just wanted to create this template that we're going to utilize over and over and over again. So that we don't have to retype this every time. Now you could turn this into a class or a function in some other code that you're going to import later. If you want to clean up your main file, that's totally fine. Or you can just paste it in here and then type your code underneath. So hopefully everybody made a connection to the blockchain and they're ready to go with their template. In the next video, we're going to hop in, make communication to the main net, pull back some data from a simple smart contract. So I'll catch you in the next video.